uh, playing right now, Aha, name of the song, Take On Me. Okay, here we go. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. There we go, nice little 80s flashback. Aha, Take On Me. Good morning, Double R Radio, Friday morning, 8.40, Puerto La Mañana, December the 18th, 2020. You know, before anything else, I'm going to have to get this out of the way quickly here. Um, why am I going to mention it? Because I feel I should mention it real quickly here. Um, December the 18th is actually uh, a dark cloud memory kind of a day. I didn't know it was a dark cloud till six months later, eight months later, whatever it was. But um, December the 18th is an anniversary I really don't care to think about. And you're probably going, well, then, Robert, why are you mentioning that? Um, I really don't know. <laughs> but I am. Um, December the 18th is actually the anniversary when I got married to my second wife. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I was like, you know, it's just weird, you know, and, 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 and even more so what makes it to where it's not hard to forget is that it was always a week before Christmas. One week before Christmas. There you go. And there you go. <laughs> right. right. All this grundle and everything. Well, anyways, there you go. I got that out of the way. Quítate, por favor. Anyways, <laughs> let's move on to some better, bigger things. There, there we go. Good morning, Chad. I got up to my primo. Double R Radio sponsor, Mission City Hot Shot Delivery Service. Roger Rivas, good morning, Primo. How we doing? Who, who we doing? How we doing, Primo? Hopefully you're doing well. There we go. Ella L. Gomez. Is it Gomez or Gomez? Uh, Gomez? I've never heard of Gomez, but we're, we're going to go with what you got there. Eva, good morning, good morning. Double R Radio sponsor, Cindy Martinez Hernandez, San Antonio, Texas. Good morning. Live on Facebook. Stop by and say hello, everybody. There we go. Um... Where am I at? Uh, okay, we'll go over here. And what do I got here? And we'll start with this one here. I'm going to be realistic here. You're not going to like what I'm going to say, but it really doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm going to say it anyways. Uh, good morning, Jenna. Good to Nidia Rios. Good morning, Nidia. How we doing? Anyway, check this out. Crazy story. A man, police in Wisconsin, said an honest stranger who found $3,000 on the sidewalk saved Christmas for a family by helping return the cash. I wouldn't have returned it. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I find $3,000 on the sidewalk. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I don't want to know where it came from. I don't need to know. And I and, and life goes on. <laughs> hey, I'm being honest. Come on. Come on. Between me and you, me and you both know that if we were to find $3,000 on the sidewalk, you know you're going to keep that money. You know you are. At least I know I will. Good morning, John. I got up to Mary Ann Campa. Good morning, good morning. Uh, Angie Castillo. Good morning, good morning, good morning. By the way, uh, Double R Radio sponsor, Angie Castillo. Block was probably going, Robert, really? There's another Angie Castillo? There's an Angie Castillo right here. There we go. Good morning, Angie. Anyway, so there we go. A man turned in $3,000 that he found on the sidewalk. I only got one word. Pendejo. <laughs> right. Pendejo. Uh, maybe not. You know, hey, man, you know, to each his own. If somebody wants to turn in money that they find like that, more power to them. I'm not. Uh, uh, $3,000, man, that buys a lot of frozen pizza. I make a little old dress. That takes me on a trip. I get to do a lot with $3,000, no doubt. There we go. Good morning, John. I got to America. Munoz, good morning, good morning, good morning. I really love that because her name is America, and I say, good morning, America. There we go. So, look, uh, I cover a group of people, America, and then I cover her as well. There we go. Good morning, America. Also, good morning, Jenna Ganatsu. Micaela, Michelle Cohen, the ever so political. Uh, Michelle, uh, Michelle, uh, when are we going to get those stimulus checks, Michelle? Michelle's got the lowdown on everything. She knows the holly on everything. So, Michelle, um... When are we supposed to receive these stimulus checks, Michelle? And if you'd like, you can sign your stimulus check over to Double R Radio, Michelle, if you like. You can do that as well, Michelle, okay? I, I wouldn't have no problem with that whatsoever. 
So be sure and answer me for the before I go off the air. There we go. Also, good morning, John. I'm going to have to Lisa Marie Ramon Espinosa. Good morning, good morning, good morning. By the way, um, I got you right, Lisa. You used to, um, <laughs> uh, Lisa, you used to work at Las Palapas right over there on Walton Road at 35. I was just after the other morning. There we go. Um, Michelle says the check's in the mail. Uh-huh. Okay. Good morning, John. I'm going to have to see if you don't want to miss anybody here. There we go. Uh, Diana Casa is one of the one of Double R Radio sponsor Cynthia Gonzalez of Amidas, Houston, Texas, who is also my moderator for my Double R Radio Facebook page. There we go. Good morning, good morning. Double R Radio sponsor Anaheim, no, not Anaheim, California. Deborah Camarillo. Yeah, Anaheim, California. I got that right, Deborah. I apologize for that. Double R Radio sponsor Deborah Camarillo. Anaheim, California. We're in California right now. It's 6 45 in the morning. There we go. Oh, Lisa says I moved to Dallas. There we go. Terrible. You know you belong here in San Antonio, Lisa Marie. Anyway, so there we go. A man found a $3,000 and gave it back. Man, dejo. Here we go. Let's see what else do I got here. Plenty of stuff here. Check this out. Wisconsin. The Wisconsin State Patrol is warning festive drivers about excessively decorating their cars with Christmas lights. I didn't know you could pull somebody over because you decorated your car with Christmas lights. What's so wrong about that? Um, as long as they're not too bright, I think it's cool. It's festive to want to cover your car with Christmas lights. What's the state trooper's problem? Man, good morning, John. I'm going to have to Banales Cougar. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Anyway, the Wisconsin trooper pulled over a car covered with Christmas lights in Wisconsin and gave them a ticket. How do you ticket somebody like that? All right, you know, a ticket for excessive Christmas lights. There we go. Uh, officer, how much is it? How much do I need to pay? It's a dollar a light. A dollar a light? I got like about 4,000 lights here. Then you get a $4,000 ticket. Man, that's tough right there. That really, really is. Really, man, that's, that really is tough. Now, let's see here what else is going on here. Now, check this out. I love this story here. <laughs> Guys, listen up to this one. This is a juicy one. Good morning, John. I'm going to have Alicia Gonzalez. Buenos dias. Now, check this out. Uh, a woman is suing her fiancé. Uh, well, not her fiancé, but her boyfriend for not proposing to her after eight years of dating. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with dating for eight years? Well, the woman is pissed off. She said she's uh, put her heart, her soul, her time into her boyfriend, and the guy has refused to propose to her. Well, um, I'm going to use a line that guys like using. Why buy the car when you can drive it for free? That, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> hey, man, more power to him. Well, now he's being sued. The woman wants her money back, her time back. And um, I don't think it's going to happen, but good luck. I didn't know a woman could sue. Women could, can sue guys for uh, not proposing to them. That's crazy. It really, really is. Good morning, John. I'm going to have to Isabel Lopez. Buenos dias, buenos dias. Ana Cantu. Good morning, good morning. Uh, let's see here. What else do I have here? How much time do I have? Uh, I got a little bit of time here. There we go. Um, where do I want to go? Um, now, check this out. Crazy story. Las Vegas, Nevada. A man climbed onto a commercial jet wing at uh, Las Vegas airport right before the plane was going to take off. How in the hell does a man get out there right on the runway and jumped on the wing of a plane before the plane took off? Wow. Anyway, the pilot was kind of, I uh, didn't know what was going on until the light turned on and his cockpit saying, Pendejo alert, Pendejo alert. And uh, he looked to the wing and saw a Pendejo on top of the wing. Well, uh, they turned off the plane, security showed up, arrested the guy, and there you go. Since it's Las Vegas, Odds are 20 to 1 that he's going to get bailed out of jail. There you go. And there we go. Let's see here. What else do I have now? Check this out. A Denny's hostess quit her job on the spot after two customers walked into the Denny's without masks. And she told them, you need to be wearing a mask. And they claimed that it was their religion, their religious beliefs that said that they could not wear masks. And the manager let them sit down. The hostess didn't like it and quit. There you go. So anyways, um, 
I don't know, man, to each his own, but, you know, we've got to do this together. Everybody together and wear our mask, right? Hey, man, you know, even more so, I've been affected to it, uh, affected by this COVID directly. My grandbaby, Mia, came down with COVID-19. No lie, 20, I mean, 10 years old. And Mia came down with COVID-19. She's on day number five, and she's pretty much out of the woods, but still, it's no joke. It really, really isn't. For these people who are claiming, I don't want to wear a mask, I'm not going to put on a mask, por favor. Well, anyway, the hostess at Denny's didn't like what went down, so she quit her job on the spot. There you go. Good morning, Jada Ganata. Chavez Vita. Good morning, good morning. Estrella Trevino. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Anyways, Friday morning it is. Do not forget. Um, what else are you going to forget? Do not forget Thursday night, December the 31st. Bring in 2021 with your truly Robert Rivas. I'll be live in the air from 9 p.m. all the way to midnight. We've done it every year for about five or six years. I'm live on the air at midnight, and we bring in the new year together, and we're going to do it all over again this coming next, let's see here, two weeks, Thursday, December the 31st, from 9 p.m. all the way to midnight. It's a lot of fun. It really, really is. If you're not doing anything else, you got a party going on, whatever, don't hire a DJ, don't hire anything. Just crank it up, go to uh, robertreversradio.com, click on the media player button, and it's all free. There you go, man, free entertainment. What else do you want? So anyways, there we go. It is Free Form Friday. Uh, let me go ahead and play something from the 90s. Wilson Phillips, release me. Good morning, Double R Radio. How we doing, everybody? Uh, do y'all see my little Christmas decorations back there? You see, look, the radio station's going. We can talk. I got a little baby Christmas tree, and I got 1.10 over there. And I got another point set over there. And people have told me, Robert, don't you have a bigger Christmas tree? Uh, yeah, I do. But it's not on right now. Do y'all see my TV back over there? I put on my, 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 I put on my Christmas tree DVD. And there you go. And that covers that. Also, I put on my, my, uh, fireplace DVD. There you go. And if I get lonely, I put another kind of DVD. <laughs> Anyways, let's get back to the morning show. Join me now. Robert Rebus Radio.com. Simple. Robert Rebus Radio.com. And, uh, don't forget, you can visit my website and uh, go to the store and order my Double R Radio Morning Show coffee mug. There you go. I've said everything I need to say. Let's get back to the morning show. Free Form Friday. You're going to love it. Turn me now. <laughs> 